All right, uh, today I want to show you how to hook up and calibrate the plunger. So if you get a plunger, you should have three wires kind of like this. It's labeled negative 3.3 and plunger on here on both sides, plunger 3.3 and negative. And uh, you'll actually notice on the pin one board, there's those same connections. It's actually labeled ground, that's your negative. And five volts, which five volts are 3.3 volts. This will work on both voltages, so that's fine and then wiper, which corresponds to the plunger input on there. So you plug your plunger in to those three inputs, make sure they match up properly, and plunger's hooked up, ready to go. And so now I can go into the plunger screen, and here you can see my plunger operating, okay? And I can do a couple of ways to uh, set this up. Really, the main thing is you just hit the calibrate plunger button, to calibrate it. You can see it's already pretty well calibrated. My current value at 200, uh, resting point at 200, maximum value at 856, and min value at 51. Those are all pretty good. I'll click the calibrate blunt plunger button. All you have to do is just pull it out to its max, push it to its min, and then set it at its resting position and hit complete. And at that point, your plunger is calibrated. You can save this config and you'll be all set. These three checkbox, I really, I recommend always keeping these, all three of these checkbox checked. And they're just gonna essentially make it so that your whole system runs better. Especially for VPX, there's this plunger quick release feature um, that helps with VPX with plunger consistency when releasing. Um, there's some cool things that this also adds too. It'll actually hit the launch button when you release your plunger automatically. So for games that don't support a plunger, pulling back the plunger and releasing it will still actually release the plunger in the game. So it's a nice feature to have. Uh, one thing to note too, one of the things you can do to make sure that that release happens is you can turn on depounce for the plunger output key. So in this case, output number 24. And you can see it makes sure that when I release that plunger, output 24 actually gets uh, activated. And I've got the debounce time set to 50 in this case, so that should work fine uh, in your case as well. So that's essentially how to set up, plug in, and use the plunger. It's pretty straightforward, um, but you know some people don't know exactly how to calibrate it and everything, so it's good to have a video to show that. So I'm sad to tell you something today. Thanks.